Good day everyone, this is Professor Friday coming at you one more time. Today we're going to be talking about radioactive decay. So the half-life of cobalt-60 is approximately 5.2714 years. The question is, how long will it take my 10 gram sample to decay to only 2 grams left? So, first thing that we'll point out is that radioactive decay follows the law of natural growth and decay, or natural decay in this case also referred to as the law of uninhibited decay. So because we're dealing with a mass, I am going to be using a function name m for mass. So m is referring to mass, and we'll put that in terms of grams, and then t, we'll put this in terms of hours, or t will be time measured in hours. Wait, years. Off to a great start. Fantastic. All right, so with those things in mind, um, when I reread the problem, what I notice here is that we're starting with a 10 gram sample. 10 gram sample, this is going to be referring to the initial amount of the substance. So we'll refer to this as M0. This allows me to change our law of uninhibited decay to the following. M of T is going to be 10 times E raised to the KT power. At this point of the process, however, we still need a value for k. Still need k. Good news is that we can figure out what this value is going to be equal to based off of the fact that we have the half-life. We're going to use half-life. Now the way that we're going to use the half-life is that the half-life lets us know that when t is equal to 5.2714 years, because hours would be ridiculous, uh, the mass has decayed to half of its original amount. So given that it's half of the original amount, half of 10 would be 5. So what we're going to do is plug in these two values and then solve for k. A times 5.2714. All right. So in solving for k, k is part of an exponent, which makes this an exponential equation. It means that eventually we're going to have to use logarithms to get that exponent out of there. However, we need to isolate the exponential term first. The way that we can isolate this is to divide both sides by the coefficient of that thing. Left-hand side is now 5 over 10. 5 over 10 reduces to 1 half, and it is not a coincidence that the number 1 half shows up in a half-life problem. So that'll be 1 half is equal to, we'll simplify the exponent to be uh, 5.2714k, <clears throat> at which point we'll apply a natural log to both sides. So natural log of 1 half is going to be equal to 5.2714k. And the note to make on this is anytime you take the natural log of e raised to a power, it is simply going to be that power, since natural logs and natural exponentials are inverse functions. For a last step here, we'll take um, the 5.2714 coefficient of k, and we'll divide both sides by this. Now at this point, you will likely want to grab a calculator However, I left mine in the office, so I'm just going to have to do this in my head. Just kidding. I did this problem yesterday, and I still remember the answer. So, rounding to six decimal places on this, it'll be about negative 0.131492. The fact that we got a negative number here was expected. Um, it's expected due to the fact that this is a decay model, and in a decay model, your k value is negative. So, with those things in mind we can now set up our completed radioactive decay model. And it'll look approximately like this. So the amount of mass I'm going to have after time t is going to be 10 times e raised to the number that we got for k times t. Now the original problem said, <clears throat> how long will it take my 10 gram sample to decay to 2 grams? Well, we're posing the question, find t if your mass is equal to 2. So what I'm going to do is plug in mass is 2 
and I'm basically going to run through the exact same algebraic procedure that we just went through to solve for k. First we'll isolate the exponential term. After we isolate the exponential term, we'll take a natural log of both sides. We get 1 fifth is equal to e raised to the negative 0.131492t power. Take a logarithm of both sides, we get the natural log of 1 fifth is equal to, now just the exponent, And we'll finish this one off by dividing both sides by that coefficient, this value of k that we got not too long ago. So we will get that t is going to be equal to natural log of 1 fifth divided by the value that we got for k. Now again, I did this problem yesterday, so um, normally you would toss all of that into a calculator and get it to spit out your answer, but uh, thankfully I did this problem recently. So remember that the final answer should be 12.24 years. Please do keep in mind that two grams is slightly less than one quarter of the original, so I would expect at least two half-lives to have passed. Uh, two half-lives would be about 10.5 years. You'll notice that in order to get something even smaller, we would need to wait for just slightly beyond all of that. So I hope this was informative. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you for the next one.